pounding milk was the only way you wouldn't die as a child. You Someone, had to go to a physical store to get them. I don't even remember what I wore. Probably just three t-shirts to cover up my fat tits. Welcome back, everybody. Delightful intro, Mrs. Lush. Thank you for that. Ladies and gentlemen, you know that the 90s was by far the best decade. And we're going to be celebrating that here today. I know a lot of you guys are millennials like us, kind of like 30s-ish. Some of you are a little bit younger and you can maybe relate to some of this as well. But let's get right into it, talking about some 90s things that we love. What's a saying that kids nowadays will never know? Ooh. Get your thigh master and don't forget to put on your best No Fear t-shirt. <laughs> Feed your Tamagotchi, because this is millennial TikTok. <laughs> Please enjoy this Verizon ringback tone while your party is reached. Bro, remember that ringback ring tones? Ringback tones, and you had to pay for them. You had to pay for it, which means when you someone- You had to go to a physical store to get them. That's right. So when you called somebody's phone, you called your friend's phone, they would pay to have a song play instead of hearing a, a, ring a ringtone. And let me tell you how many good songs were ruined because of it. I used to have a friend that was always like, I would call him and it would be like, blow, 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 blow. It would be Dave Matthews Band, like Ants Marching. Uh, and I just couldn't listen to that song because I heard Ants Marching like three billion times every single time call I called them. Friend. Unbelievable. Mom, get off the phone. I'm trying to use the internet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll be there in a couple minutes. I just got to print these directions off. This oh DVD nice. is enhanced with Disney Fast Play. This younger generation will never understand the heart attack inducing phrase, hurry, it's back on. Oh my God. Live television, live no pausing, TV. no DVR, no recordings. You had to see it live or you missed it. Or you had to physically put a you, tape in the VCR. You and could record tape it. You'd record it on VHS. And hope that it worked. Which was illegal. You've got mail. Oh, you've got Some mail. Some generation oh. will never understand the phrase, that's a Kodak moment. Mm. Like going to the store to buy a camera, taking pictures with that camera. I feel like that's a Kodak moment is still kind of ubiquitous, but it's like obviously from a time I don't know when. About that. You don't think so? Maybe not. Go ask a teenager. Taking that camera back oh, yeah. to the store, dropping that camera off at the store, that's and right. then going back to the store in a couple weeks to pick up pictures. That's crazy. Never understand, be kind and rewind. Yeah, or that. sir, you can't rent movies, you have a 75 cent late charge. Mm -hmm. I don't understand the phrase, it's time to make the donuts. Or, where's the beef? Where's the beef, yeah. Call me after seven, that's when my minutes are free. Wait. Do you remember that uh, my minutes are free after seven? So yeah, this is you when, remember that? Yeah, when early cell phone plans, you, you had to like... You had a there was certain limits, number of minutes. Minutes to, to before talk. Before Unlimited came out, or and, when but, it was really expensive. But it was during unlimited. prime time, so you would get like unlimited minutes after a certain time at yeah. night, yeah. but during the day. Or weekends, like nights and weekends were free. Man, if you don't remember pretty unlimited cell phone plans, you really were born in 2005. Yeah. Iconic fits. Oh, let's go, dude. 90s fits are some of the Let's best. recreate some iconic 90s TV character outfits. Okay. George Costanza always killing it with the jackets. I'm loving the straight leg jeans and, of course, sure. the versatile varsity jacket during fall. Like that Can't talk 90s TV looks... without mentioning Fresh Prince, layering a I comfortable mean, flannel over a t-shirt. It's never going to go out of style. No. Tim the Toolman Taylor had that dad style on point. I am absolutely loving the fact that light wash jeans <laughs> are back. Highly recommend getting some. <laughs> Rachel Green's obviously a style icon many times over, but to be able to look good even on your most casual days with a nice vintage tee and some sweats, it's a beautiful thing. Don't sleep on Abercrombie, guys. Yeah, you told me that. I thought Abercrombie was dead, right? So like that was the huge brand. Abercrombie is when, very, very, very popular when right now. When we were in high school, that yeah. was like the brand. If you were the cool kid, you bought like the $80 Abercrombie jeans that had holes in them. I could never shop there because I was a fat bastard. Like I wouldn't fit in any of their clothes and I'd look silly anyways. Like I was more of like the skater shoes and like Jenko's guy. Oh, Jenko's. <laughs> Until I got to high school, I started to, I don't even remember what I wore. Probably just three t-shirts to cover up my fat tits but besides besides that <laughs> tamagotchi i never got into tamagotchi really yeah oh, cool snap braces you never got into tamagotchi uh no i knew about it but i just never really did anything with it i was in a, i think fifth grade okay. when they were pretty popular it was probably the way cell phones are handled now in schools which i don't actually know how that goes but they had to ban them from being used. That was like the, the early classroom. the early attention suck, the yeah, distraction. Yeah. People would be like hiding them in their desk Man. and lift up the desk and like push the little button to feed the little baby. And Those were the good old days when the most distracting thing in a child's life was a Tamagotchi at it school. Was, it was a thing. Now I'm reacting to videos of kids pepper spraying and assaulting their teachers because they took their phone for cheating on Google. Yes, yeah, shit's changed quite a bit in schools. <laughs> he man T Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, that was my bag, dude. TMNT, G.I. Joe's. I don't know what my buddy is. That? You don't remember my buddy? No. Oh, I never had one either, but I remember how popular they were. Movies from the 90s Jawbreaker. to watch. You know that one? I think that's from Jawbreaker. I don't even know what that is. 
Notting Hill, that was a classic. I was a big movie guy, so I'll, I'll be curious. You were right. Yeah, Jawbreaker. I know you did last summer. Classic. Oh, my oh gosh. Oh, my God. That was such a hard throb. Imagine like, trying to watch that now. We would die from the cheesiness, wouldn't we? You, dude, some... It, it's not going to be scary now, trying to watch that. Some Does movies... No. Right? <laughs> it's, it it's terrible. But it's like, the only way you can enjoy it now is if you enjoyed it younger and you have the nostalgia to keep it afloat in your brain. But if you were to, like, go into that cold right now... You'd be like, what the hell am I watching? Some of my favorite movies of all time are from the 90s, partly because of nostalgia, partly because I love a good movie involving storytelling that's not just CGI and action. Train Spotting, great film. Leon, the professional. Oh, you, do you remember that movie? Let me not tell you a story a about this movie. There's a movie about you. I first watched Someone this movie. You professional? This, speaking of 90s nostalgia, I watched this movie on Laserdisc. Excuse Do you me? know what no, Laserdisc no, is? No, no, I don't. Laserdisc was pre-DVD. It was like a DVD that was this size. It looked like a record. Whoa! Yeah. Laserdisc existed for like 19 minutes. 90 slang, let's go. This isn't what I wanted for my birthday. And he was all, well, you didn't tell me what you wanted for your birthday. And she was all, well, we're together. You should know what I want. You're my boyfriend. And he was all, well, I can't Do you remember that? Not so much. I do. It's not really standing. Like, I mean, he was all, I can she understand was all. her. Sorry, that's a little side either. note. That's so weird. Whoa, we, are we both right don't now. have our rings that on. That's so weird. It's because I would take it off to work out and Jackson stole it and, and hit it on I yesterday. I also take mine off to work but out. But my question is, morning. why do you not have your ring on? Because I was lifting some weights and pumping iron this morning and oh. then I forgot to put oh, it back okay. on. Yeah, a likely story. Your mind, and then they broke up. You got straight A's this semester? Props. Props. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're picking me up after Props school, right? Cool beans. Oh, my I hated gosh. that one. Cool beans. I never said cool beans unironically, and I hated people that did. It was always like the quirky girl. Is that a new outfit? Styling. You're totally styling. I think I still say that. <laughs> yeah, that definitely is still. You can still kind of say that, right? You're styling. Things we'll you only one. understand if you grew up in the 90s. Ah, okay. oh, the Gravitron ride at the fair. You either loved it or you uh, thought hello, you were going to be like. Once upon a time, yeah. we didn't have to enter our Four details online up. to win a free drink. I very much remember that. I used to play that religiously. That was like the jackpot, being like, yeah. get the buy one, get one. And they had like a point system. You could collect a certain amount and send them in. That was early gamification of like marketing and it worked. I used to buy them all the time just because of the caps and wanting to get the free one. The red drinking cups from your favorite pizza joint. Yep. The drinks always like taste still better exist. than they do. cups. It has been a while since we've seen oh my God. on the vending machine. I mean, look at Cherry Coke. It is so different now. If you had this alarm clock, you were lucky. Classic. And finally, we've got to mention the ashtray on car doors. Oh, yeah. which Dude, the ashtray and the car the door. My first car, it was an 89 Oldsmobile Cutlass Sierra, baby. Oh, man. Yeah, the push lighter, which those, those things rule. Those don't exist anymore. I don't think so. The ashtray. Because everyone beats. No the, one doesn't smoke cigarettes. The ashtray and the cigarettes. Imagine. Not talk about cigarettes. It's so funny. Just, but that just goes to show you how common it was to smoke cigarettes because they would literally engineer vehicles to accommodate smoking. Now they engineer cars to accommodate vapors by including USB ports. Mm. It's the only reason they do it. This is the 90s supermodel bar uh, on cards here from Australia. Give it that lived in look. Really getting yeah. two different flavors yeah, from that two was different definitely hairdressers very... here. Mm -hmm. The Lily and Larry car! Is that like something you wouldn't see as much anymore? Like I wouldn't be as perceptive enough. Flavor. Like that does, like I think about, you know, like Rachel Anderson, all those big actors in the 90s, they all had that haircut. That is not a Jennifer Aniston haircut. But no, she, come on! That is not, no. She has her own very distinct, distinct haircut. All throughout the 90s? Yeah. I don't know. Dude. Yes. Maybe she did. Oh, oh. dude, let's go. Hold if on, If we hold talked on. about the 90s without the starter jacket. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I would have been living. We would no. We wouldn't be able to post this video. No, you gotta have starter jackets in there. I had a Notre Dame starter jacket. I don't even know why or where. I, I got desperately it. wanted one, but I did not have one. Come on. The shot I don't know why, too, that the Charlotte Hornets it's one the colors. was the most popular. It's the colors. If I could have had any one, it of, would have been that one. Oh, the Charlotte Hornets one. It's so funny, dude. I definitely had a Charlotte Hornets hat. I never got their starter jacket, but the menus. Look at that. Yeah. yeah. Classic, just paper. Oh my god. Pre-digital. Mrs. Doubtfire, classic. I don't remember those bowls. Ooh, you remember that? Temple yes, Run? Yes, yes. Uh, that's not what it was not called. Not Temple Run. What was it called? I don't remember, but it was that Nickelodeon show that was awesome. Wait, was that a bowling scorecard? No, Second that's a week? that's a great. That's someone's great. Oh my god, that's a report a card. Report card. Yes, <laughs> Good lord. Well, I was homeschooled for a lot of it, so I didn't get that same thing. Cream savers, loved them. 
Oh! You know what that was? Cassette holder? Yeah, cassette tapes, baby. I had that literally exact same wood grain cassette holder. That same one. I think they took a picture of that in my house. Fresh prints, obviously. Just a mess. Those chairs, yep. Oh my yeah. god, yeah, this is, man, they're hitting me fast with them. Oh, wait, wait! The TV guide? The TV guide! Yeah, if you yeah. want to know what was on and when. You had to go to the TV guide channel and wait for it to scroll all the way through to find what channel you wanted at what time to see what program was on. Unbelievable. Push Pops. Carmen San Diego! Yes. Oh, poster shopping. I mean, they still have that at like, uh, Newbury, yeah, yeah. Newbury. Some of these things still very yeah. much exist. Newbury Comics still has something similar. Or a lot of places. Ah! Do you remember those? I do. Yeah. That these the pictures. I, yeah. Ninety percent of the drinks I drank between the ages of zero and fifteen were in this exact red pitcher <laughs> with the little suction top. You like press it down, and it's oh my god. I had that. I did I too. Did, I definitely had that. Had in my see through room. gaming consoles, see through inflatable Dude. furniture. Yep. Definitely had that. Computers, the Kia cell phones that would light up. Yep. And even Tamagotchis. I mean, all the the, the see through plastic for the electronic it. devices. It was like the thing. Like she had a clear purple one, and that's what I had too. Like the, the blow up chair. chair. Yeah. Yeah. Like, why? Yeah, the Kool-Aid twist-offs. I'm giving them now to my kids. And TikTok recently told me this is a straw. What? Holding yeah. It. Oh. Wait, so I used to... No, we used to twist the top off. Yeah, but can you actually drink it that way, too? Wow. All right. Holy Wait, cow. Then I fall wrong. I always thought you were just supposed to twist the whole thing, I think right? you were. Which you were, but the crazy part is, like, you would always spill some because it's literally right, filled right, right up to right. that line. Maybe we were doing it wrong the whole time because that makes a lot more sense. Yeah, you had to have scissors on you when you are at, like, the playground. Yeah, so. you go stop at the convenience store the, taking a break from playing b-ball. That's crazy. I just have to find the... How would you Do you understand say? that I feel like I did not drink water as a child? I feel like all I drank was sugary crap. I mean, that's not probably uncommon. It's terrible, but that's marketing at work, man. Here it is, the Here Little Hug. Are. The Little Hug Four Flavor Team Pack Fruit Drink. Oh my gosh. Yep, these babies. I just remember seeing these in Market Basket when I used to go shopping with my mom and I wanted them so bad and she never let me get them, God bless her. I mean, we had plenty, I mean, we would just get like powdered lemonade and drink that, which is the same exact thing basically when you mix it up. But yeah, these things rocked. Just the neon colors. They tasted so artificial. Wild. And honorable mention for the milk campaign that was also going on, you had to drink milk. Oh, the got milk, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that still kind of persists to this day, but talk no. about talk about the amount of no. money spent by the dairy industry to make it seem like Pounding milk was the only way you wouldn't die as a child. Well, that was a nice little trip down. Oh my God. The barrel of fun igloo. Just add it to your cart. It's oh fine. my God, I'm buying it. It's only 40 beans. How fire would it be to bring that thing to a party? Like you're rolling up to your boy's house and you bring the barrel of fun igloo from the 90s. My question Woo! is what are you mixing up inside of it? Porch juice, something. We used to make it in college. We would take a 30 rack of, oh, key, 30 rack oh, of Keystone no. Light. Beer? 30 rack of Keystone Light, dump it all in, two handles of Zenka Vodka, which is like cheap Gordon's Vodka, and then like five things of Minute Maid lemonade or whatever. So it was right. literally just straight vodka, beer, and then like lemonade mix. That's disgusting. Put it in one of these, put it on the porch, drink it. Everyone's blacked out by 2.30 p.m. Nothing bad happened after that. I'm sure no one remembers, so who cares? Oh my gosh. Yeah, the 90s were a good time. Appreciate you joining us as always, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Deuces.